it, you know, it's a common misconception, actually. Um, I think that originally, when people hear the name trust or, or the concept of a trust, it connotes that, well, that's for the rich and famous. That's for people who have a lot of money. Um, and so that's, that's one common starting point misconception. Estate planning, true estate planning, comprehensive estate planning, isn't just about the assets. It's not just about the dollars and how many of them there are and trying to protect them. Of course, that's a component of it, but there's much more to proper estate planning. So whether it's um, creating an advanced health care directive that's critically important so that people have an opportunity to indicate um, if I'm ever unable to communicate with medical personnel, who do I trust, who do I want to be an agent on my behalf that can communicate with medical personnel? What would I want to have happen if, uh, if ever I'm in a situation where uh, I'm in a vegetative state and there's no prognosis for recovery? Do I want to just burden my loved ones or you know, have uh, medical personnel decide what's going to happen? Or do I want to pre-indicate, pre-designate what that result should look like if ever that happened? It's an important document. It has nothing to do with how many dollars you have and what your assets look like. Um, and that's just one example of a document that is part of the estate package or estate planning process um, that is completely independent of whether or not you have a lot of assets.